So BT Potter will kick off. And he is a strong leg. 21 touchbacks in 28 kickoffs this year. And he bangs that one out of the back of the end zone, down on the field, Holly Rowe. To make good decisions. He's rushed for more than 1,500 yards. This is Sean Riley, a big playmaker, coming off the best game of his career in their win against Connecticut. Sorely the only active quarterbacks with more than 7,000 career passing yards and 1,000 rushing. Throws, man open down the sideline, caught by Mo Neal, the running back, and they'll mark him out of the 16. We talked last night about the importance of a good start today. It was a good drive, but it stalls in the red zone. Mo Neal dumped behind the line of scrimmage. Trey Lamar, a factor again. His name until he kept making every kick in practice. And this one is good. And he's now 11 for 12 from the season. Of games against Furman, Texas a and Georgia Southern, and Georgia Tech. It was impressive. How about that throw? And you can expect to see many more of those laser beams today. Out to the 35 they go. T. Higgins the catch. Was the better player. The results much better this year when he was in the game. They misconnected on the handoff with Travis wow. Etienne. And Syracuse has the ball. Alton Robinson the recovery for the Orange at the 30-yard line. But kept that ball in the hip too long before he made a decision to maybe pull the ball out. Obviously, they've worked on that. They've repped that. But Kelly Bryant was more the natural runner in the offense. And Trevor Lawrence more the passer. And that time, a little mistake. And Dungy out of the gun. Lots of time. Out of the flat to Moneo, And he's chopped down for a loss by Isaiah Simmons. Back at the 32. Isaiah's shirt football season. Third and 13 on the fringe of field goal range, and Dungy throws it away. They were trying to set up a screen, and Clemson was ready for it. Wagner, 51-yard try in the air, and good! Wow. Schmidt continues to happen for the Syracuse Orange. He looks super Perhaps it's tested a bit. They go to the run. Travis Etienne, he got blasted but got the first down. To the 32-yard line, hit by. They had 10 sacks in their last two games. Lawrence in a crowd. Reaching catch made on the boundary by T. Higgins. Just short of the first down, it appears. 13-year Major League Baseball veteran. Now working here with the coaching staff. And a fair catch made by Sean Riley. Dante Strickland, the running back. And... Isaiah Simmons looked like the first to hit him, and it looks like they've stopped him. And they have, about a foot short, it seems, of the 15-yard line. Victor averaging 45 yards per punt. He leads the ACC. Amari Rogers, trouble with the fair catch, and managed to make it near the front of T. Martin. Former Tennessee quarterback, now the coaching staff at USC. It's Rodgers again, yanked down by Antoine Cordy, and Clemson on the move down six to nothing with three and a half to go in the opening quarter. What? Strong arm. Swings it out wide, there's Renfro wide open, and it's first down and goal for Clemson. Antoine Cordy, the tackle, that's career catch number 150 for the former walk-on Renfro, the 10th player in Clemson history with 150 catches. Lawrence shifts out, Wildcat, they follow those big bodies into the end zone, goes Travis Etienne. Clemson showing pressure, and they bring it. And they flush Dungey immediately. Running out of room, he throws it away. J.D. Davis in hot pursuit. They come after the punt, and Hockrichter hits it a million miles in the air. Wow! And it's muffed by Rodgers. Second time he struggled to field a punt, but he fell on the ball at the 13-yard line. 52-yard punt. End of one here at Clemson. Every day. They gave it to Etienne in the clear. 
And tackled from behind in Syracuse territory at the 43 by Ryan Guthrie with help from Andre Sisco. Well, there's one unblocked guy. It's right there. Number 14's got to make that tackle. Evan Foster's one of their best players, but he was unblocked. And one there as he hit his fellow Georgian. Third down and seven. Lawrence under duress. And it looked like his knee might have been down before he got rid of the ball. Andrew Armstrong with the rush. Junior linebacker from Youngstown, Ohio. Missed most of last year due to an injury. Suffered in practice, and that one is wide right. All the way from 47 yards. Dungey has not been a running threat today. He's rushed for just four yards. Throws it deep, and a juggling catch made by Todd Harris. And he's out of bounds, deep in Clemson territory with a first down. Matched up on a safety, Nolan Turner, number 24, and he ran right by him. Beautiful throw over the outside shoulder by Dungy under duress. Falls during this 4-0 start, and that was an anxious moment for Syracuse. Neal, running room on the screen. Neal cuts inside. First and goal, Syracuse. At the two-yard line, Isaiah Simmons and J.D. Davis prevented the touchdown. Follow him. He'll get you where you need to go. Dungy follows him into the end zone. Touchdown, and Syracuse reclaims the lead midway through the second quarter. For starting quarterback Renfro has been practicing at quarterback. He would be an emergency quarterback if it got to that. Nice. Adam Choice, a tough run, fighting for everything, and got enough for the first down at the 47-yard line today. Lawrence in trouble and smothered. Chris Slayton, fifth-year senior. He had Renfro too. It's right over the right guard here. Slayton on the inside tackle. It's just a four-man rush, and their guy was better than your guy. Got to the quarterback. He had Renfro coming open. Yeah, Brian Ward said when Clemson lines up, our players yell, Renfro rub, Renfro rub. They kind of feel like they know when it's coming. Lawrence stayed alive a long time and did well to get back he's, near the line of scrimmage, and now he is not getting up. This was... The biggest concern, Todd, yeah, starting the game. Absolutely. If he gets hurt, Kelly Bryant is no longer here. Well, he gets forced out of the pocket, and Evan Foster, number 14, is the guy that's going to come up and hit him. He actually stepped out of bounds before the hit, but the whistle didn't blow and the play wasn't stopped. In peril if something like this happens. And, and I always heard and thought that he was a great team guy. Bill Spires the punt, the crowd wanted a flag for an illegal block as the fair catch was made. Anything foolish here with the football. Clemson rushes just three. Dungy has a man floating the pass, and the catch is made by Jamal Custis. He's had a couple of big drops in each of the last two games on deep throws. A sigh of relief on the Syracuse sideline as he caught this one for 32. Isaiah Simmons, who's been playing linebacker, was back in a safety position and didn't get over in, in time. They are in field goal range for Schmidt. Dungy given a pocket. And his receivers making plays for him today. Nice over-the-head catch by Devin Butler. Had a couple of big conversions. On their drives in the second quarter, Dungy spins away, throws it away. Well, they fooled him on this one. Trying to give Syracuse a two-score lead with the half approaching. And it is good from 32 yards out. And now getting an opportunity. And they keep it simple for him. If that keeps working, why wouldn't you just keep handing it off straight ahead? And that's what I mean. This is what they've got to lean on right now. Don't Excellent defense. Not highly recruited. Was going to go to Appalachian State. ETN in trouble. And down for a loss. Chased down by Chris Slayton. Here, three deep safeties, only a three-man rush. And they still put pressure on Chase Bryce and dump him. Back outside the 45-yard line. What a strong rush by Kendall Coleman. You've got, a, you've got a block. You've got five blockers. They're rushing three. And Kendall Coleman just whips the right tackle. The left tackle is your best player, Mitch Hyatt. He's beaten by Kendall Coleman. Held their own. A promising start to the drive for Clemson. Then a punt 
And a fair catch made by Sean Riley. Out of playing not to lose. Nope. Fast is their thing. On target and in stride. Dungy to Fast Jamal Custis for a first Jamal down to the 35-yard line. One in the ball game. Syracuse started the game slowly on third down, then converted on scoring drives. Late in the half, the pass intended for Jamal Custis. Sterling Hoffrichter's had another great day. This is another one high in the air. Been only one punt returned all season long. Syracuse showing blitz. They bring pressure again, and the throw is intercepted. Trill Williams with the pick for Syracuse in Clemson territory as the ball sailed over the head of T.J. Chase. Separation, and if the ball is thrown towards the sideline, it's a completion, but it's thrown back towards the field. And Trill Williams, who the coaches told us during summer camp, by far and away, he led our team in interceptions, has great ball skills. His Syracuse Orange today and pulled off a big upset for the third year in a row. That's a costly loss. It might take them out of field goal range as Dungy's dumped by Cleveland Farrell. Back at the 42. Cleveland quarterback prior to this week, Kelly Bryant, leaving the team. The throw is almost intercepted. Dungy's pass nearly picked off by Tanner Muse, intended for Jamal Custis. Muse has scored a touchdown in each of the last two years against Syracuse. One of the stars of the day. Did he get too much foot on that one? He did. Chase Bryce handed it off. Travis Etienne. They have, as Dino Babers told Holly Rowe, they have enough explosive players on the Clemson sideline to win without Lawrence at quarterback. So two catches today. More pressure from Syracuse. Bryce steps away from it. Down the field. And caught! Hunter Renfro does make a play inside the 30-yard line. The two receivers are going to cross, but Bryce does a great job of getting outside the pocket, buying a little more time, and then you see the acrobatic catch by Hunter Renfro. When you need a big play, 13's the guy that's going to get it for you. Harder for him to find the open receivers. It's a trick play. It's a pass by Amari Rogers. And it's an incomplete pass. Might have been out of bounds anyway. Intended for the big T. Higgins at 6-4-2-10. Big field goal try by the veteran Hugel. To make it a one-score game, he's good from 43. They're trying to pressure Eric Dungy. He was given time, and he throws an interception. A.J. Terrell out of bounds. Out at the 25-yard line, a huge play by the sophomore from Atlanta. He has very good protection. It's maximum protection, but his receiver, Butler, never turned to find the ball. It was to 10 Syracuse. The Orange led 16-7 to at the half. Bryce throwing to the end zone. Incomplete intended for Amari Rogers. He and the crowd want a flag that will not be coming. Scoop Bradshaw, the coverage. They get a three-point game. That's right down Clemson Boulevard. But with confidence. They've done very little on offense here in the second half. Nikeem Johnson broke out of a tackle and turned it into a first down out to the 37-yard line on the right hip of Dungy. They fake the handoff to the receiver. Dungy in trouble and out of bounds. Way short of the first down. Chased out by Christian Wilkins. This for Clemson in the second half. Syracuse has not scored since the break. Man, this hot winter. <laughs> another cloud. Scraper! And another muff by Rogers. The third one. He's had a tough time fielding. Syracuse players think they have it inside the 10. I mean, that's got to cause a little pain. And they do. As a punt returner, that hang time right here. He's your big target. Dungy tried to set up a flat pass, and Neal is upended. Two big plays in a row by Kamon Wallace, the junior from Richmond, Virginia. Open. Will Dungy follow him? Dungy keeps the ball. Got denied originally, and then got in for a Syracuse touchdown. They're down by 10. 
With a very flat crowd, good throw, best of the day by Bryce and Justin Ross. Gets them out to the 42 and they'll run quickly to the ball after a 16 yard game. Coordinator said Bryce has a lot of moxie, that'll be tested here. They're leaning on his moxie and his arm talent. And that's a first down to the 43 yard line of Syracuse. Justin Ross again with Antoine Cordy to stop 10 yards. They love some players with freakish athletic ability. He is freakish, freakish. Say Elliott about Ross. Lots of running room. ETN with Renfro trying to block on the perimeter. Nifty drive here by Clemson. ETN the running back, and he takes it through the middle, breaks a couple of tackles, and scores a touchdown for Clemson. Missed tackles. Watch number 41, Ryan Guthrie. There's the first missed tackle. Then one by the safety, Cisco, and what a block all the way down the field by T. Higgins, the receiver. Clemson answers with a nice touchdown drive. Dungey with time. Wide open receiver. Devin Butler breaks a tackle. And scampers out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Kyler McMichael, one of those true freshmen in there for Clemson, did not make the stop. He's won the line of scrimmage on third and short. Dungey powers ahead and will not get there. Christian Wilkins again. And now Dino Babers with another big decision to make. Average more than 47 yards per punt. He didn't do well earlier. He was trying to drop it short of the goal line. That's the second time in trying to pooch it. He kicked it into the end zone. Now. Starting from the 20 after the touchback, he hands it off to Travis Etienne. That's a tired looking Syracuse yeah. defense on some of these runs here in the fourth quarter. And Etienne with a new career high rushing. He managed to make the playoff despite surprising early season losses the last two years. But they're playing with fire again. Kendall Coleman swung him down back at the 31. Well, this is a mismatch. Kendall Coleman's working on a tight end. Mylon Richard, here's the matchup. You normally want your tackle blocking the defensive end. It's a tight end. The back is late trying to help. That's ETN and an excellent play by Kendall Coleman. You know, Coleman is a guy who is playing his best this year. As starting for three years. Three years, yeah. Will Spires. Not a great no. punt. Crowd grown as Sean Riley called for a fair catch. Dungey out of the gun, lofts one over the middle. A little, little lob pass for Sean Riley. Trey Lamar put pressure on Mari Rogers. It's Hunter Renfro back, and this is another ball that might hit a satellite on the way back down to earth. And Renfro makes a fair catch at the distance. Clemson starts from the six with six minutes and change to go. ETN, another big run. He's hitting. Perhaps for a 200-yard game, Josh Black took him down. Google his career longs 49. He's never tried one of 50 plus. Tavian Feaster. That defense looks very tired yeah. for Syracuse. Can he make another big catch? He made the catch that won them the national championship two years ago. Bryce with lots of time. What a throw! A strike for a first down to T. Higgins. And watch Chase Bryce use his eyes to look off the safety and then come back to Higgins. Perfect throw. Goal, goal range. It's Bryce on the surprise keeper. He has a first down. He powers his way down to the 15-yard line. 15 yards. Two minutes to go. Clemson down by three. ETN flattened behind the line of scrimmage. Through the running back. Syracuse brought pressure up the middle. Feaster breaking tackles. Feaster near another first down. Wow. At the five-yard line. And is all the time it needs to kick a field goal or score a touchdown. And they score the touchdown. Travis Etienne walks in. 94 yards. And the lead for Clemson with 41 seconds to go. Outstanding work by the offensive line. Watch the right guard, Cervenka down, Pollard down. The left guard's going to pull and kick out. This drive was impressive by the Clemson offensive line and the running of ETN and Feaster. Look at Pressure, Dungey, blasted off the corner by Xavier Thomas. Guards away in 20 seconds, second and 30. 
Custis. Out of bounds at the 18 yard line. Lose it. Lawrence won it. Fourth and 17. Last call for Syracuse. Dungy just did get it off with Xavier Thomas in his face. Here's Dante Strickland way short of the first down. And time runs out. And Clemson, the victim of big upsets in each of the last two regular seasons, dodges a huge bullet against the very game Syracuse team here today. Now 49 and 1 under Dabo Sweeney when they rushed for 200 yards, and it was the power running game. And give Bryce credit. Yep. Fourth down and six. One of the few times they asked him to make a play, he made a beautiful throw, and then the running play yeah. that got them down into the red zone huge was huge play. as well for Two. 17.